All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be going over how to set up a MailChimp form on your website that will populate your MailChimp list and will also redirect to a thank you page or a confirmation page so you can optimize it for it in Google Ads. So for a quick example, this is our newsletter page. So you can see right here, first name, email address. So I'm just gonna put in some test information and show you how this is gonna work. Okay, so let's say I'm running a campaign. I get someone to come to my website. They enter their first name, their email address. They click on sign up now. One way to track this as a conversion is to make sure that you're redirecting it to a thank you page and using that thank you page as a conversion. So we're gonna click on sign up now. It's gonna redirect right to this thank you page. So you can also put other things on your thank you page as well. So we just have, please confirm your email address. Thank you for signing up. And we also have subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel here. So it makes it easy for people to not only subscribe to our email list, but also subscribe to our YouTube channel if they haven't already. So we're gonna go back real quick. So I'm gonna show you a couple different ways to do this. One way will work on any website that you're running. The other way is gonna be specifically for WordPress. And you can use both methods using WordPress. So it's a really simple process. It just takes a little bit of a learning curve to get started with it. So we have our newsletter page here. We have one form at the top and down at the bottom, we have a second form. So a sample MailChimp signup form. This one will do the same exact thing, email address, first name. So what we're gonna do is you first need to have a MailChimp account and a MailChimp email list. So if you come over here to our YouTube channel, if you're not sure how to do that, we have a quick MailChimp tutorial. It's actually 40 minutes long, but it's how to get started with MailChimp and use some of the WordPress integrations as well. So we're gonna come over here to MailChimp. So we have our MailChimp account open. We have our list open. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna click on create here and we're gonna come over here and do sign up form. So when you create your email list, you should have a page like this, basically an overview page. It's your admin MailChimp page. You can click on campaigns, templates, audience. No matter where you are, you're gonna be able to see this create button. So you're gonna start there. You're gonna scroll down. You're gonna click on sign up form and it's gonna say grow your list with a sign up form and we're gonna use our newsletter right here. So any of the audiences that you wanna populate, this is where you wanna use it because every time someone signs up, it's gonna add that person to your list. So we're gonna use our Surfside PPC newsletter and we're gonna click on begin. So what that's gonna do is it's gonna redirect you usually to a page that looks something like this and what you wanna do next is you wanna click on this sign up forms link right here. So it's gonna be in between add contacts and settings at this current time, you never know, you never know it might change over time, but you wanna click on sign up forms here and it's gonna bring you to a page that looks just like this. So they have form builder, embedded forms, subscriber pop-up, form integrations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up form builder. So we're gonna click on select right here and open up form builder. Okay, so we have Form Builder open now. So the first thing you wanna do is from this drop down menu, make sure you have Sign Up Form open. So this is how you're gonna build your initial form that you're gonna embed on the page on your website. So you can see Sign Up Form right here. We're gonna scroll down. We just have two fields in the Sign Up Form, email address and first name. If you want, you can add some additional fields here. So let's just say you wanna do phone number, for example, just click on it and it will add phone number directly there. You can update some of these things over here. So you can do something like field label, you can do enter your phone number. So this is just more information that you'd be able to collect from people who are signing up for your list. Some people use a list as a way to actually receive contact forms as well. So then you can keep track of everybody who has contacted you a little bit easier by adding every single person to a list rather than doing that manually. So that's just another option that you can do. So you can do something like phone number. So if we click on save field here, you can come back over to add a field. Maybe you wanna enter text. So have someone enter maybe the types of content they're looking for from you if they are signing up for a list or some of the services that they're looking for. And you can use that list as the list of people who are contacting you for services rather than people that are signing up for your email list. So just a couple of different options you have as you build your form. I'm gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna do email address and first name our only required field is email address because I just wanna make sure I'm collecting people's email address so that I can send them emails. So to get rid of a field, you just click on this minus sign right here, click on delete and delete the field. So now we just have email address and first name and we're just gonna come to the top here now. Now this is one of the important parts here. Under forms and response emails, this drop down, you wanna put confirmation thank you page here so it's gonna say confirmation thank you page. It's gonna say, instead of showing this thank you page, 
send subscribers to another URL. So we're going to send people directly to our confirm page on our website. So this is just another, this is just our version of a thank you page. You can either do a confirmation page, a thank you page, however you want to do it. And we're going to click on save. So we actually created this page on our website. So this is just a page that we created. Please confirm your email address. Thank you for signing up. So this is just a page that we have on our WordPress website. So we come back over here. You want to make sure the confirmation thank you page that you put the proper URL right here. We click on save. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here to sign up forms. So we're going to click sign up forms again. And the next thing we want to do is come into embedded forms. So it's going to say generate HTML code to embed in your site or blog to collect signups. So we're going to click on select. And now we have our embedded forms here. So you can see it's just going to be the same form we just built email address, required field and first name. So one of the most important steps to make sure that your form will actually redirect to the thank you page that you set is to make sure you disable all JavaScript here. So you want to disable all JavaScript. So when people do click on that subscribe button, they actually get sent to the proper page. So now we're going to take this code, just click on it and copy it. And we're going to come over to our newsletter page. So we're going to click over here. We're going to scroll to the very bottom of the page. You can see our sample MailChimp signup form. We're going to get rid of the signup form that we had there. And what we're going to do is copy and paste this new signup form here. And we're just going to click on update page and then open our newsletter page. So we have our newsletter page open. We added the new form here. So you can see sample MailChimp signup form. So it's just a very simple form, subscribe, email address, first name. So what we're going to do is just enter a test email and a test first name. Okay, so someone comes in, they come to our page, they want to sign up for our newsletter. Now we can actually track that as a conversion back into Google ads and into other ad channels as well. So just by adding this MailChimp sign up form here, we click on subscribe and you can see that that form is going to redirect people through a thank you page. So a very simple process. I'll go through how to make sure you set that up as a conversion in Google ads in just a short little bit through this video. Now there's one other way I want to show you that you can also use the same exact method through WordPress. This one's going to be specifically for setting it up for WordPress. So what we can do is first install the MailChimp for WordPress plugin. So you want to download and install this plugin, add it to your website, and the plugin is going to look something like this. So you're going to see MailChimp settings. So you're going to have to get a MailChimp API key connect your MailChimp account and it's going to show your list name right here. So we have our Surfside PPC newsletter list all created. So now anytime someone fills out our form, they're going to be added to that list automatically. So this one is a very simple process to create a form that will populate your list. So you're going to see a total of one list were found on your MailChimp account, our Surfside PPC newsletter list. So we're going to open up this form page here. So the next thing you want to do is create your form so that you can easily add it to any page or post. So you can see right here, we've already created our form and it's the one on our newsletter that we showed you earlier. So this one right up top here is the one that we're using for our landing page. So if we come over here to form fields, you can see it's a very simple form, first name, email address, sign up now button. Now you can add more form fields and list fields to here. One thing is if you do want to add more fields, you need to go into your MailChimp account and you need to add list fields to your selected list. So it's a really simple process to do that. You just need to add more fields directly to your form builder, and then you're able to use them through this MailChimp WordPress plugin. So you can see we have our form code here. So it's, this is just first name, email address, submit. You can copy and paste this code through your MailChimp plugin, but you can see it's a really easy way to create a form on your website. So all you need to do is use this short code right here. So we're going to copy it. You come over to your edit page here and you can see we have the short code right here. So this is our short code up here is where our two pictures are for what people are getting when they do sign up for our newsletter. And you can see right here, this is our form. So you just enter that short code on your page when you're creating it. So it's a really easy way to create a form that will redirect to a thank you page. Now, the next thing you need to do, is come back over to your form fields here, go to settings, and it's gonna say list this form subscribe to, make sure you select your list. I use a double opt-in here. You can update existing subscribers if you want. But one of the most important things is you can do hide form after a successful signup. I just click yes, and then redirect to URL after successful signups. And you can see I'm redirecting right to my confirm page here. Click on save, 
And now you know both of these forms work. I showed you the one at the beginning of the video that this one will send people to that confirmation page. And the other way that you can do it is just embedding a form directly. This one will also send people directly to that confirmation page. So two simple ways to add forms to your website and make sure that you're driving people to a thank you page. Now the next thing you wanna do is make sure that you're using that thank you page as a conversion in Google Ads. So that's gonna be the last part of this video is how to set that up as a conversion. So to get started, we're gonna use Google Analytics and we're gonna link our Google Analytics account to our Google Ads account here. So you can see we have our Google Ads account open. We have our Google Analytics account open. What you wanna do first is come here to Google Ads linking through Google Analytics and you wanna make sure that you have your Google Ads account linked here. So you can click on new link group and make sure it's linked. In your Google Ads account, what you wanna do is go to tools and come here to setup and linked accounts. And then if you click on details here in Google Analytics, it's a really simple process to link both your accounts together, especially if you're using them under the same Google account. So if you click on details, you can just click on link account and it's really that simple. Now the next thing you need to do is create a conversion in Google Analytics for every time someone hits that confirmation page or that thank you page. So what you wanna do is come here to goals and you wanna create a new goal. So we're gonna click on new goal here and we're gonna come down here to custom. We're gonna click on continue. Under goal description, we're gonna name it. So I'll just do, so we'll do MailChimp form confirm page so I know how it works. Type destination and we're gonna click on continue. Okay, so now under goal details and destination, we're gonna do equals to. So to use this, all you need to do is equals to confirm. And you can verify this goal to make sure that it has converted over the past seven days, especially if you just set it up and you're just starting to get some data. You might not see a lot here, but I would wait a day or two maybe before you actually import it to make sure it's working properly. But you'll know pretty quickly if it is working properly. So goal details, destination equals to confirm. So anytime someone's visited my website and signed up for my newsletter, now we'll click on save. So now you can see we have our MailChimp form confirm page and it's gonna show no conversions over the past seven days because it's still populating. So we're gonna come back over here to Google Ads. We're gonna to come to Tools again, and we're gonna, under Measurement, click on Conversions. So under Conversions, what we wanna do is we wanna click on this plus sign. We're gonna do Import. So we're gonna import this conversion from Google Analytics. That's why it's important you create the conversion in Google Analytics first, and also link your accounts. We're gonna click on Continue. And you can see we have this new goal showing up right here. We're gonna import and continue. Okay, so now we've imported one goal from Google Analytics. We can click on done. Now the last thing you wanna do is you wanna come back over to your account and let's just say you're running a campaign here. So we're gonna open up our campaigns and we'll say this one right here, newsletter and free ebook. We'll click on the campaign. And what we wanna do is we wanna click on settings here and you wanna make sure that you're optimizing your campaign for that conversion. So under additional settings here, you can see conversions. So what we wanna do is choose conversion actions for this campaign, select conversion actions, and you can actually make sure that you're using the conversion action that we just created. So MailChimp form confirm page, click on it, click on save. And now this campaign is gonna be optimizing specifically for that conversion. So there's some different options you can use here. You can also optimize for multiple conversions at once, but this is how to set up a MailChimp form that redirects to a thank you page that you can also track for conversions when you're creating your Google Ads account. So it's something that you wanna do. So as you create Google Ads campaigns, you can optimize for conversions. And ultimately you wanna start using this target CPA bidding strategy as you start driving more conversions for your campaign. So. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.